This brick building may be falling apart, but it still stands nearly a century after it was built by the Ku Klux Klan, and it won't be torn down. For me, it's a pain, hurt, anger. What was once the Fort Worth headquarters for the white supremacist group, now a three-story monument to racism and terror. So when I think about this place and I think about the hatred um, that, you know, the members of this place, the KKK, um, you know, how they went out into the community and, and struck fear in a lot of the residents. And spread the hatred that led to his grandfather's death. Fred Rouse was lynched by a white mob about a mile away from the KKK meeting place in 1921. They shot him, they stabbed him, um, they hung him from a tree. Uh, this article say that his body was riddled with bullets. It's one of the darkest chapters in the city's history, but a group of nonprofits is working together to bring the story into the light and turn this site into something new. It's going to be a place of hope, a place of love, a place of acceptance. The Fred Rouse Center for Arts and Community will include a performance space, museum exhibits, and a resource center for LGBTQ youth. The project received $3 million in federal funding today. It's definitely a sign of hope that, we, that we're excited to, 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 to receive um, in hopes that we could get more funds uh, to help us accomplish our goals. The group needs about $40 million total to complete the transformation and open the doors to the center in 2025. Five, ten years from now, I see a joy. I see this space bringing a lot of the communities together, uh, giving everybody a place of refuge. Eradicating the roots of hate to plant seeds of hope. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.